Well, when I purchased the Arrow Garden Bounty, I picked up the 40 watt model, uh, 40 watts pertaining to the uh, LED light over the top. And I was curious how it would grow compared to the uh, other Arrow Gardens that I've had. I've had a uh, 30 watt LED. Uh, also, I've had one of the older models that had uh, compact fluorescent lights. So uh, what I've noticed was that when the light is in close proximity to the top of the plants, that it happens to uh, almost burn or uh, be a little harsh on the tops of the uh, leaves. But aside from that, it seems to grow extremely well. As a matter of fact, what's in it right now is a big Thai uh, hybrid pepper. And I've grown several hot peppers. Uh, as a matter of fact, a lot of the, the uh, hot peppers in my garden uh, have been huge. Uh, in the outdoor gardens, up to eight feet in height. Some of them have been about that height, um, eight, maybe six to eight in width. So when you try to uh, prune those down and get them to grow in an air garden, sometimes they don't produce as well, but this uh, big Thai variety has been relatively compact. Um, I've only had to trim the uh, top of it off for the most part. The width on the left and the right really have not uh, come into play in terms of needing a lot of pruning. I've been using Dynagrow 936, uh, a little heavier on nitrogen, and I've probably uh, pruned the plant four to five times, and it is currently in day 212. Now that's a little bit long compared to what you'd normally expect because Thai pepper plants uh, typically come on and start producing about 69 days after set out. And typically you'll grow those uh, 8 to 12 weeks indoors before you set those out. So let's look at the pods. You can see that there's pods that are near the uh, top of the plant that are forming all over the place. Uh, as a matter of fact, they are loosely uh, clustered. What I mean by that is that they do tend to come on relatively close together, but they are separated on the little uh, stems as they form. Uh, blossom still forming on the plant. Uh, there's one of the ripening pods. They're supposed to be red. I don't know why this one's orange unless it's not uh, done with its color state change. And some of the branches are just very heavily loaded with pods. So this uh, plant has more pods all the way around it. As a matter of fact, uh, there's a, um, this is just like a little basil plant that's been growing in the Aero Garden for the same amount of time, 212 days, and I've had to really prune that one back. It grows a lot more rampant than what the pepper plant happens to grow. There are pods on the uh, backside of the plant, just lots of those. I like the uh, Thai variety because a few reasons. Uh, the overall height of the plant is uh, fairly conducive to being able to grow in a small hydroponic unit. And they're perfect for uh, stir fry sandwiches, salads. Uh, some people do not care to eat uh, super hot peppers fresh. And this is a nice heat level for a lot of individuals. Now, one of the things that I've noticed when growing Matter of fact, I was going to say that uh, if I get the camera turned a little bit, you can tell, there it is, uh, 212 days. It says the uh, nutrient level is medium. However, if I were to look inside the fill area, you'll notice down in the bottom, there's hardly any nutrient in there. And I have a feeling that the uh, roots have grown into the meter uh, that feeds the information to the front here and probably have interfered with the ability of the unit to accurately tell me what the nutrient level is. For 212 days, it's really tied up my arrow garden quite a bit, and I would probably end up uh, moving my pepper plants out into other uh, small containers because uh, there's a lot of other things that I could grow. And in terms of food production over a 365 day year, I would like to be able to turn more uh, cycles of food than I could actually uh, eat on a regular basis. But this has been a fun experiment to show what the new Aero Garden Bounty 40 Watt can actually do with a uh, small compact pepper plant.